Now, you just heard it right now, big belters, big voices, and today we're gonna tackle the issue, what is belting, and in the end of this video, you will get an exercise. Now, belting is most of the time misunderstood for yelling, or it resembles the yelling sound, but actually, in fact, is a more controlled and sustained phonation, so it's not your typical belting across the street. No, it's a little bit more controlled than that. And as you can see, I have that beautiful larynx 3D model here. And these in the middle are our vocal folds. They are really, really small, the size of my, my finger cup here. And what actually happens when we are belting is that the, the vocal folds get thicker and shorter. And it's a whole intense production going on. So the, uh, the cycle of the vocal folds are closing much more and much more intense. They have much more contact than in a different register. Now, Joe Estelle has conducted a research and describes belting as an extremely muscular and physical way of singing and when observing the vocal tract and torso of singers while belting, as still observed, number one, there is a minimal airflow going on, which is really important, we come to that in a second, longer closed face or 70% or greater than in any other type of formation. That's how intense that production can be, and if you do it the wrong way, it will harm you on the long term, but we go to that in a second as well. Maximum muscular engagement of the torso, and the terminology is torso control or anchoring, and anchoring is great, and Astral uses some movements to add, like that one here for head and neck anchoring, the diva nose, or picking up on apple, um, or just, you know, just to, to resemble a little bit the anchoring here. Uh, engagement of muscles in the head and neck in order to stabilize stabilize the larynx and uh, again we have here head and neck control or anchoring and then what we have is a downward tilt of the cricoid cartilage now we have that tilting here we have a high position of the larynx and we have a maximum muscular effort of the extrinsic laryngeal muscles and minimum effort at the level of the true vocal folds and of course, there was a narrowing at the areopiglottic sphincter. You know, as a German, I feel that tackling just this word done a lot. <laughs> now, what is really important and helps you for belting is definitely research a little bit more in terms of twang, use soft as well, try to figure out how to tilt your larynx. Sobbing is a great way to tilt your larynx. Uh, use really minimal airflow. It's all, all about the moderate amount of air. So we don't want to inhale very bigly before we are trying to tackle that high note. We don't want to go <gasps> and tackle the high note, that's definitely wrong. It's like a big package to our voice. It feels very, very heavy. Now just imagine, do and then end. Now you will easily start to constrict, start to strain, and that's something that we don't want. So if you feel that you're belting and you're straining and constrict, don't do it. Don't do it. with a ya or yeah we're gonna start with a ya and you see that I do have a little bit of that twang very very subtle it's not gonna be it's more of a and what I do is I drop the chin as well I'm trying to create a little bit more space having a good placement and then sing into the mask or feel that uh, vibration feel it here that placement more here now what I'm trying to do is is to drop my chin have a good placement make a little bit more space and find that I'm gonna make it one more time for you and it gets very loud towards that your diaphragm and your body muscles don't over engage you don't want to push it's a moderate amount it's a moderate feeling Wow, 
while that was very, very, very loud. And usually that is a note that I would not belt anymore. Usually that is a note where I definitely would use it as a mixed voice because I know if I belt that note, it's not, it will not sound good. And so I'm very aware of where, where my limit is and that this is the note for me to mix it rather than to belt it. For a contra alto, I also have to double check and see where is the end of my register and when is it time to flip into hat voice and when is it time to go into mixed voice, right? Now I'm going to play that exercise for you from the beginning at, till the end and yeah, just start right away. Great exercise for you as well. And here is a 